at the National Weather Service office in Dousman talking to Tim Halbach today about the way social media has changed the way weather is reported and kind of fitting since there is some potential severe weather coming through the state today. Right. So just tell us how it's really changed your job. So we've gotten a lot more information, a lot more direct interaction with the public uh, when it comes to social media. 10, 15 years ago, we didn't have a direct way for people to talk to directly unless they found our phone number in the phone book or something like that and called us that way. But social media has really helped for us to be able to directly talk to people and find out what's happening in their area. Sometimes these are people who love the weather and sometimes it's just somebody who happened to see something. So if there are folks sitting out there today who happen to see something, what's the best way to get you information? Uh, they can send it directly to our Facebook page. Uh, we're on Facebook and Twitter, at uh, NWSMKX on Twitter. Just tag us in a post or directly send it to our page uh, and we will find it there. So sometimes it's people that uh, don't even know that we exist and their friend will tag us or send us the information. Um, so getting that information quickly is really important. And is it taking a picture, taking a video, or just giving some in-depth in uh, detail on where they saw something? The, the photos and videos are great because it kind of gives us some idea of what it actually looks like. Uh, it can be just verbally. You can just type it out and send it to us as well. The main thing is we want people to stay safe. We don't want you to you know, risk your life to go and get a picture of a tornado. We'd rather you be in the shelter instead. Um, but if you can feel like you're safely able to do it, then send us a picture. All right. Thank you, Tim. And we'll yeah. have much more on this story coming up tonight on the news.